What is going on my juice box army? It is Juicer here and I am bringing you some more Modern Warfare 3 action. We are playing some more kill confirmed this time on the map Hard Hat and this is an awesome map. I love small maps and you know I'm pretty much what five seconds into the game and here we go two guys right in front of me. I love that. I love not being or having to run across the map for 10 minutes just to find a guy. Um, but this video has a purpose and I should probably get on track right away because I don't have a lot of time to talk about it. So this video is going to be about how to level up quickly in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, a lot of you guys on Twitter and even the people I've been playing with have been asking me how I've been leveling up and managing to pass them, pass them so quickly. So I wanted to give you guys some pro tips right away to hopefully uh, make your leveling up experience that much more enjoyable. So uh, the first thing is, as you can see, I'm playing Kill Confirmed. And if you were to go into theater mode and check all the games I've played, I have played 90% of my games in the Kill Confirmed playlist. And that is not without a reason. You get 50 points for getting a kill, and then you get 50 points for uh, confirming the kill. Uh, not to mention, if you return your, your teammates' dog tags, you get 50 more points. And if you die and are able to retrieve your own dog tags, you actually get 250 points, which is freaking awesome. Um, so that is pro tip number one. Get in the Kill Confirmed playlist. Pro tip number two, and a lot of people are going to probably look at me crazy, but uh, guys, disregard KD. KD doesn't mean anything. Um, it does to a certain extent. I mean, I guess if you go like 0 and 15 or 2 and 30, um, you're not helping your team out at all, and you're not getting experience for yourself. Um, but, uh, I mean, you're not looking for KD games where you're getting like 15 KDs or 40 KDs or crazy stuff like that. Um, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, uh, all the people that uh, get those kind of KDs are freaking monsters and uh, good on them, but uh, I mean, I go 28-7 and seven in this game, which is still a very good KD, don't get me wrong, that is, it's pretty strong, um, but I've had games where I've gone like 30 and 20, and I've got like crap loads of experience, like 60,000 experience. And uh, unfortunately, this isn't one of my 60,000 XP games. Uh, I was unable to find those. I don't know where they went. But um, anyways, uh, so that is the next pro tip. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is to switch up your weapons and switch up your attachments. Infin Infinity Ward is kind of genius in how they set, uh, set up leveling up in this game. Um, not only can you level up your player, but you can level up your weapon. And you can level up your weapon by simply getting kills, completing challenges, and to complete all the challenges, you need to switch up all your weapons. Um, so that is uh, really important. Be sure to keep that in mind, guys. It's going to make up, make your leveling up experience that much more enjoyable. Uh, the second thing, or third thing, excuse me, is to get on that left thumbstick. Seriously. Getting on that left thumbstick and sprinting your, your way around the map is key into finding as many opponents as possible. Um, I, I don't know how many times I've actually stopped uh, sprinting in this game, but I feel like I've run like five marathons already, um, and it's really helpful. Um, another thing to keep in mind, guys, is, and this is probably actually one of the most important things, is to run the specialist strike package. And I noticed that I was passing the people I was playing with, uh, even though they had higher levels than me at the time, but I was catching them and passing them. And it is all attributed to me using the specialist strike package. Um, they were running like the assault package or the support package, but um, I found that uh, the specialist package uh, yields the most points, yields the most return. And it's quite simple actually, it's really smart and it makes a lot of sense. Um, if you're running hardline as your second red slot, on your class and you're running the specialist strike package you get your fourth perk after just one kill you get your fifth perk after just three and you get your sixth perk after five and if you could make it all the way to seven kills in a row you'll end up getting every perk in the game whether you have it unlocked or not now it does help to have the perks unlocked because um, then you're able to actually complete challenges so just think about that for a second if you have every perk unlocked the game and you're running the specialist strike package you can get 15 times the challenges completed, 15 times the experience, so that is huge. Um, and also, keep in mind, you don't really have to look at the, the challenges to figure out what you need to do. I actually disregard the challenges, and I just run around, get the kills, and I eventually complete them. So, don't even worry about it, guys. It's, of course, important. Um, I mean, don't, you can look at the challenges uh, if you really need to know what you need to do to finish off the pro challenges, but it's really not that hard, guys. Um, and finally, uh, if you have those do 
or Dorito XP codes, be sure to pop those in tonight because having that and double XP, um, if you have prestiged already, is going to be huge into uh, leveling your leveling up experience. So um, that's it, guys. I hope I covered everything. I hope it helps. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Of course, I would love a like, um, but uh, definitely stay tuned for some more uh, Modern Warfare 3 videos, guys. All right, later. That's a nice final kick cam. Except for the one guy that was AFK.